Welcome back to Living 808. Now, do your feet hurt during the day? And if so, does that pain continue through the night? In today's On Your Feet segment, Patty and Susan with Step Ahead Arch Supports tell us about the main reasons for foot pain, and they also have some tips on how to make it go away. Hello, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, Patty, let's start with you. It's back to school week. A lot of people will be out shopping for back to school. Why should proper footwear be on the top of that shopping list your feet are your foundation and that's where it begins so if your feet are misaligned it's going to affect that whole skeletal structure your knees your ankles your back and so again we really really need to support the four arches that you have to your feet and hold that foot into the correct position giving you better balance stability and endurance now the kids are going back to school so again they're going to get into soccer and all the football and such so again balance is so important for these children so again i want them to support the four arches i want them also to have a nice shoe that's got a nice wide toe box or they're going to get into things that susan's going to talk about bunions calluses corns and again the kids that come in to see us they have a lot of arch pain and ankle pain mm -hmm. so we're going to talk to you a little bit about all these common foot ailments and okay. so this is going to help us and out we've talked about that before i mean if you don't catch these problems early if you do nothing it turns out to be a really big problem and it could end up with um, leg pain back pain i mean a lot of people don't realize if you don't take care of this like you said it's the foundation right, right. so susan what are some of those uh, common uh, ailments well it's pretty interesting uh, parents know that the most common thing they may feel is that plantar fasciitis that's like the number one foot problem and ailment but teens can actually suffer from plantar fasciitis so we actually have kids that come in that are very sports related they're actually even just physical education they're having some issues with their feet but we see soccer players football players ballerinas and they all have this like achy foot which is basically the underlying uh, connective tissue on the bottom of the foot is the plantar fascia it's connecting the toes up to the the heel and so if you have an overuse injury and all that pounding you get that plantar fasciitis but it can commonly be in the heel it can be anywhere along the bottom of the foot so if you then support the arch which we have the orthotics that are you know for kids as well um, you can actually prevent that problem so that you can put your foot in the right position and take the pressure off of that fascia in the wrong places so you can support all four arches so it really helps the kids a lot so that's the number one I would say um, they also have sometimes some growth plate issues and things like that when they're younger the next issue would be um, commonly ankle and uh, nerve pain type issues so the Achilles tendon attaches here in the uh, the back of the the ankle and so if you have that Achilles tendon aggravated from that same you know pounding and whatnot you can have a lot of ankle pain which is really uncomfortable and again you can relieve that with an orthotic so that really helps the kids uh, lastly with the, the uh, other issue related to that are neuromas which is kind of a fancy name for nerve pain and you can have nerve pain at the ball of the foot which is kind of the outer edge of that big toe um, and that can actually lead into the bunions and hammer toe issues so the bunions um, are basically that uh, that ball of the toe kind of pushing then into the other toes the toes kind of curve over forming a hammer type shape and all of that can be prevented again with putting your foot in the right position and the bunions can be a genetic issue so if you you know have mom and dad or even grandma or grandpa with bunions you can prevent that it doesn't have to be that you take on that family history if mm -hmm. you support the arch and lift the pressure off the toes while the body is developing and you make sure that you put the kids in the right size footwear because a lot of these issues if you don't you know keep track the kids will grow overnight literally have a growth spurt and mm -hmm. the next day their shoes don't fit and you got to check got to make sure that they're in the right size shoe because the number one problem you can have is not realizing their shoes are too tight so you have to have a wide toe box and you need to have um, the orthotic to support the foot, especially if they're having any aches and pains. Don't sort of disregard, oh, that's nothing. You know, they're really, yeah, kind of tune in and okay. pay attention. Susan, thank you so much. Uh, where can people find you, Patty? We have two office locations, one in Honolulu and the other one in IAEA at the Pearl Kai Shopping Center. Visit our website. It is stepaheadhawaii.com. We'll give you a lot of information. A lot of these segments that you're seeing me and Susan with here are 
again, you can see this on our website. So okay. again, we're going very informative on our website. Okay. Yeah, so listen to our website. Yeah, lots of great information. Thank you both for joining us. Thank again, you. Uh, go check them out because this is something a lot of the pain a lot of people live with, and you don't have right. to, right? Thank right. you. Coming up on Living 808, John and Sam go in the kitchen. We're going to give you a preview of this weekend's episode. Plus, I'm